Hi, this is Joe with J. Alexander Roofing, 431 Westchester Drive, Finley, Ohio. I'm here today performing a video inspection of the roof. All right, you called me out here for the leak in the back. We'll get to that. I'm going to assess the entire roof real quick just so you have an idea of what kind of shape it is. I can tell from the ground you get two layers on it, and it, you're getting some, some problems are starting to pop up. Um, just from looking down, I see a lot of waves. Um, I'm not sure if you can see this, but right in here, there's a big dip. Shingles are cupping, shingles are curling, and an even bigger problem is that... It hadn't become a problem yet, but trust me, it will. First of all, there's no seal here. You know, they um, uh, I don't know if there's been some wind lift. More than anything, it's just they should not, they should have never applied the second layer over top of this, because what we start to have happen is um, these nails start to lift. As you can see right here, that that nail's poking up a little bit. It's a lot more drastic in different areas. This is just this, this roof was not applied well at all. They used inch and a quarter smooth shank nails and they're not long enough they didn't penetrate all, all the way through two layers if you're going to do the wrong thing which the wrong thing is putting two layers on with dimensional shingers you got to do it right you got to use inch and three quarter nails they did not do that so i'm going to find some areas to illustrate what's going on here better there we go zoom in on that see how that nail head's raised up off the deck that's going to become a, a, a major problem you had this going on widespread Anywhere you look up and see the shingles look like they're getting lifted a little bit, those are nails. They're starting to work their way through the shingle. It's going to become a major problem. You'll eventually have holes, you know, through the face of your shingle directly in your attic. It's going to start popping up leaks. Back here is just a flashing detail. Who knows how this is step flash? They put a brand new siding right over top of it, so I can't really see. It's, it's, something's not going on here, right, with the flashing. A lot, a lot of silicone uh, was applied in there, just probably some type of temporary solution. We see this a lot, though. The neat, there's step flashing underneath this, I'm assuming, it sh should be at least. That's the last piece of step flashing has to be exiting out of the siding to get it all kicked away. Right now it's probably all just bleeding in there. Could have a little bit of damage on the wall too. We would have to pop the siding off to pretty much know how severe that is. Same thing's going on at top. A lot of different, uh, like I said, dips and cupping. Same situation, we've got two layers up here. I'm gonna come to the back because there's a couple layers that are pretty bad. Just want you guys to see what's going on and what you're going to be facing. So once again, I'll get down here on the level of the roof. See how some of these are just severely popping up? Those are all nails. There's a really good illustration. These are all nails working themselves back up. So the, the, this is going to be a problem back here pretty soon. It's uh, this, this spot gets hit by sun a lot. So they tend to wear faster anyway. This boot's completely gone. That's got to be looking your attic as you can see. I can stick my pinky finger right down in there. So... I guess to sum it up, we've got the leak back there. I'm gonna to try to put together uh, an estimate to solve that leak temporarily. But I'm also gonna quote you guys out to replace the entire roof because two layers, you got some issues that are only gonna get worse from here on out. Joe with J. Alexander Roofing, 431 Westchester Drive, Finley, Ohio. That should pretty much do it, thank you.